Texas opening morning for the Missouri rifle deer season. We're out here with the new 350 Legend. These Winchester XPR rifles and Winchester deer season XP ammunition. It's about 19 degrees out. Got a good little half inch of snow last night. So hoping to see some deer moving this morning. This is kind of the maiden voyage of 350 Legend. It's the first firearm season that we've headed out. We've got several individuals out in the fields today, all shooting 350 Legend. So myself and my team down at our ammunition facility in Oxford, Mississippi, did all the design work on this cartridge. We developed it, both the shell case and the projectile. And I've really designed this cartridge from the ground up. I love deer hunting. There's such a level of expectation, but yet excitement of not knowing what's to come later in the day. You sit back and you never know what may come walking out of those woods. Opening day of rifle season is like the Super Bowl. It's, it's big time around here. I mean, everybody loves it, everybody waits for it. And it's, it's something. Dads get to take their sons hunting. You know, it's that's what it's about. Family, the harvest. You know, it's about you putting food on the table. It ain't all about the big deer. It's about you know spending time with family, friends, and food. Well, we're out here this morning. We're in Nebraska at Deer Meadows, and uh, Scott and I have been having a lot of fun. We've been blasting up a ton of deer. It's really cold out here. We've had some. Freezing cold yeah, weather. Yeah, really cold this past week. It was nice about two weeks ago, but you know what? This is kind of what we want to get that rut kicking in. And we're starting to see the early signs. Yeah, it's just starting to kick in now. We're on the early stages of the rut, and, and hopefully this really cold temperature will get them kicked in to where they're full-blown. See the does? I just shot the biggest buck of my life. An absolute monster mule deer. And the coolest part is, well, I got to try out the brand new Winchester 350 Legend. And well, I'm pretty sure the results speak for themselves. This is a really nice buck from central Missouri. I'm hunting with Winchester ammunition. This is a brand new cartridge for them, the first in 10 years, the 350 Legend. This thing knocks deer down. You can see this shot, it went through his shoulder, broke him. He didn't go more than like 30, 40 yards. For younger shooters or people who are really sensitive to recoil, this is an incredible load for them to use. It's really good for a lot of hunting on farms, but a lot of hunters in this country do. 100, 150, 200 yards, it's dead on. We're locked and loaded in the new 350 Legend straight wall cartridge. And I am in love with this gun. It is nice. I think it drilling smoked him. That is the Legend 350 straight cartridge by Winchester. And I think we just bopped a really, really nice deer. Oh, man, oh man, that couldn't have worked out any better. Good oh shooting. Oh, that is a stud. You hit a stud perfect. Texas buck. And this is my first animal ever with 350 legends. Oh, How cool was that? That was awesome. <laughs> Got our deer. Okay. 
Well, I just arrived to camp at Powder River Outfitters in Broadus, Montana, and I am so excited. Not only is this one of my favorite trips, they've got tons of whitetails, some of the best rattling in the country, but this time I get to shoot something brand new. Winchester came out with a brand new cartridge, the 350 Legend. It has more energy than a 3030, and it's the fastest straight wall cartridge out there. Now, as far as recoil, well, it's got 40% less than a 243, and it has 20% more penetration. That's incredible. In fact, it has less recoil than a 450 Bushmaster. This is gonna have so much knockdown power for this exact situation. I'm rattling these deer in, bringing them in close. At 50 yards, it'll be one inch high. At 100 yards, it'll be an inch and a half high. 150, dead on, and 175, only two inches low. So I am so excited to try out this 350 Legend, and I can promise this is something that's gonna be around for a long time and in many deer camps to come. This is a place that I think I've been coming for maybe 13 years. That's what deer camp's all about, in my opinion. Coming to places where the people become almost your family, and that's what it is here. Now, they also have pretty incredible deer hunting, too, and Pork Chop loves it. It's just an awesome experience and cannot wait to get out there. Plus, we got some warm weather, so it should be a good week and looking forward to it. We actually had a stand down in here, and believe it or not, this is this is way more traveled than the actual bottom here. Yeah. And I think it's because of the way the river banks are in there. They don't bother crossing. They basically come up, they cross in on this side, and then they kind of skirt and come down like this. So, is there a particular deer in that area? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, the Texas one. Yeah, yeah. We call him Walker because he looks like a Texas deer. And he's a walk, like literally he's a walk. walk. He is. Everywhere. Hmm. We've seen him three times. He's just he got a great yeah, big yeah, wide yeah. Texas deer frame. Awesome brows. Sweet brows. He's a tit nine. Tit nine on his left side and his beams come way down. Right. So this bullet is the 150 grain deer season XP. It's engineered specifically for shooting white-tailed deer, mule deer with, and it does its job really well. Next to it in the middle is a 180 grain power point. That bullet is a little bit slower, but it's heavier. Fantastic for big hogs with tough gristle plates. On the left, there's a 145 grain full metal jacket, and that bullet is gonna retail for less than 10 bucks a box. It's fantastic for a day plinking at the range. It also sets the 350 Legend apart from some of the really expensive straight wall cartridges such as the 450 Bushmaster and so forth. None of those have a cheap practice option. Deer camp's the best time of year. Being out here playing cat and mouse with a big white tail, a cool cartridge among good friends, that's just what life's made out of. I grew up doing it with friends. I've got little kids that are, are soon going to be joining me in the field. It's just an, a great American tradition that uh, I'm proud to be part of carrying on. And it's something that brings us together as, as brothers in the outdoors. My story starts like a lot of people's story. You know, your dad gets you into hunting at a young age and, and uh, you're growing up and you're, you're going to the, the hunting camps and you're going to you know, the check stations and you're seeing people's deer and you want to be that guy with that tailgate down rolling in there. This story started about a year ago. Well, I almost killed this same deer this same week and uh, fast forward, I moved some stands in his area. He came in this morning, I was able to take him, but um, it goes deeper than that. My dad got me into hunting. Uh, that's, that's why I'm so passionate about it. And today was actually his birthday. And I lost my dad two years ago. So I say prayers to him all the time, trying to get him to help me out. And this morning, I think that was, he was definitely there with me. I mean, to be able to see this animal for one, and he comes in 60 yards, gives me the shot. Um, so to come back here and all my hunters to be here, and, and congratulate me and give me hugs and high fives. And uh, I just can't tell you what that means to be a hunter. So to me, that's what hunting's all about. Sharing camp with good friends and family.
we just had an awesome setup. We had a buck come in to probably, I don't know, 15 yards, rattle them right in. This is just incredible out here. We hit it right on. It's so much fun. I might not even want to shoot yet, but if I get a big shooter, I'll probably break that. <laughs> So what a perfect day. I'm in a beautiful deer to be out here testing the 350 Legend, shooting that new cartridge. Um, what an excellent little round. The recoil, so light, so pleasant to shoot, you know, on a big buck like this, trotting down the hill, thinking you're gonna have to have a follow-up shot, but um, for as light a recoil that is, the, the impact that you have, the damage that you have, I mean, on a big buck like this on the move, it just did a, per I mean, it just did a perfect. It was uh, really surreal to be there, to be able to, uh, see it in action to see how effective it is. And with such mild recoil to be able to cycle that action so fast and be ready for a follow-up if needed, um, just really pleasant to shoot. And for the price of ammo, honestly, you couldn't have a better package than an XPR chambered in this new 350 Legend. A lot of impact energy that you have uh, for close range, really emulating a 3030, uh, the greatest deer cartridge ever, uh, could be replaced with the 350 Legend now. Looks like a charm, man. I mean, no recoil, fast follow-up. My, uh, I was shooting from some tree limbs, so I got I double loaded mine on the first, ran the bolt real quick, hit the shoulder on the second, and that was all she wrote. Back in the blind, it's the evening of the third day, second day of the season. We're here trying to outwit a big deer that the Kiefer brothers call. Walker, Texas Ranger, because he's wide and he wanders a lot. Unpredictable deer. He covers a lot of territory, but he does hit this this spot on a regular at regular intervals. So it's all about persistence at this point. Not a lot of movement, but uh, patience pays off. He's wide. That is a good looking deer right there, man. Awesome. Check that out. Look at those bases, man. Beautiful. Ooh. Look at that split brow. Joseph, congratulations. What a cool deer. Man. Thank you, man. Great job, buddy. Congrats. Such an honor to be here hunting with you, Casey. Well, we're glad to I have you. I appreciate it. the opportunity. Beautiful, cold, crisp morning. Should be perfect for rattling. So it was a pretty good setup. We had a couple smaller bucks come in and uh, it worked out pretty good. We haven't had a lot of luck this morning, but it's been uh, a little better right now. The deer are starting to move around. You're seeing a little more activity around the way. But I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get set up here. We're gonna move up and go maybe another 150, 200 yards. That way we just keep going along this river. It's been working pretty well for it, so. Awesome, awesome, right there. How far is he? 120 yards. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a last good bath. Oh, you can see those dark horns. Oh, sweet. Look at this. This has been so much fun out here. We've been out here in Montana rattling, and it has been just an incredible trip. And you know what? It's become quite a tradition to come out here, and I just love it. Thank you, Travis. You're very welcome. <laughs> we got it done once again. <laughs>